Hi everyone, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to watch the final episode for the second season of Attack of Titan. Honestly, I couldn't wait. My camera was able to get a little more juice. And you, I'm like, you know what? Let's do this. I got to watch that final episode. Um, very likely, I'm going to be uploading it uh, later, later, later on. Because I have so many videos that I recorded uh, these past two days. And I just couldn't wait to watch the final episode. I'll do my best to upload it as fast as I can. But like I stated, I have a lot of videos to edit. So probably this will be up till um, next week. <laughs> I'll do my best. So uh, just bear with me. But that last episode, we saw um, how far Erwin um, is willing to sacrifice to get um, Aaron back. And it literally goes back all the way to um, what uh, Armin said, that uh, those who can't sac sacrifice anything cannot make a difference. And literally, uh, Armin did that to to be able to get to um, Beltoth and uh, Rainier by telling them lies about, oh, so you're planning to leave without your ally while we're torturing her and this, this and that. And it was he was able to create an opening and we also saw that the titan that devour Aaron's mother is back. I'm like, are you kidding me? And then I, I can't believe I, I forgot his name. Um, definitely I'm going to have to look it up because I hate forgetting names. Uh, they better not kill him. But it's literally bringing me back to literally the first episodes of Attack of Titan where... um. He literally grabbed both uh, Mikasa and Eren and ran away while uh, their mother was devoured by that same titan. And goodness, emotions are running very, very high. I mean, Erwin literally lost his arm, but he's still fighting. And that's just impressive. I mean, goodness, despite like the odds, the scouts are still fighting. And that's just amazing i mean we are getting more clues to uh, exactly uh like more out outside the walls and i mean so, um when Yermer got uh, i guess executed uh she, she says she's been outside the walls for for 60 years and when she ate one of their allies of uh rainier we saw that it was Rainer was already with Belta, but also Annie. So I'm like, so that's how they met? So I still have many, many, many questions. Like, what exactly happened? And how were they being able to live outside the walls? Are the outside of the walls really not as dangerous as they make it seem inside the walls? But they're also saying that the inside of the walls, it's pretty much screwed, so... I still have many questions. Oh, also, um, Connie's hometown, the Titan that's on top of his house. Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. I think that it is Connie's mom. But, like, what exactly happened in that town? Like, what happened to the people? Ah, man. They're giving us little answers, but that's also created more questions. And, ah. It's annoying, but I love it at the same time. But enough of me talking. Let's begin watching this last episode. I have a feeling things are not going to end very well. I just know it. Yeah, it's the same Titan. But why is it back? God, the music. Okay, final episode. Scream. Him. Oh, please, no, no. Damn. Well, he already applied a tourniquet. Oh, no. Oh 
Hans, there you go. Oh, please, no, don't kill him, please. Oh no, please no. Come on, Yuma, you gotta have to be, you're gonna have to start being honest. I know you're trying to protect her, but you can't do it by lying. Whoa. Yeah, because you can't fight. You can. You're still having a recover. Oh, damn it, no! <sighs> John, come, be careful! Oh, man. Oh. Way too many people are dying. Please don't kill him. No, no, no! No! <laughs> Damn it! Oh my god. This is so unfair. <laughs> god, I literally want to scream so bad right now. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Man, I never thought this episode would be so emotional. Damn, I need to calm down.
<laughs> Damn it. <sighs> okay, I think I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting people to die, but uh, I didn't want Hans to die. And being devoured by the same Titan. And Aaron being unable to do anything, just like the first time. And not just Aaron, but Mikasa, they weren't able to do anything once again. Damn. What was that? Wait, is he controlling the Titans? He is, isn't he? No way. Yeah, he's controlling the Titans. Coordinate? Yeah, this is your only chance. You need to get away, like, now. I think he's gonna die, isn't he? This is where Yerma's gonna decide. Is she gonna go back or go to them? Yeah. She's not gonna go back. She's gonna go to Rainier. She's deciding for herself now.
Damn. Through extensive research, it has become clear that the scourge of titans are of human origin. Well, they did escape. Well, he survived. Are we going to learn what happened? That's way too many people. Yeah, he controlled him. It was you, Aaron. You controlled him. I was right, wasn't wasn't I? Yeah. Damn. They still don't have proof, but it's very likely. God, that's dark. Yeah, why are you smiling? Wait, is that the Beast Titan? What? What's that on top? What? Oh my god. Wow. <clears throat> that episode was just... 
I have no words. I didn't want Haynes to die. God. Just thinking about it makes me want to cry again. So many, many people died. They even said it that they lost half of their veteran scouts just to retrieve Aaron. And the fact that that the Titans that were within the walls were actually people from Connie's hometown. And when Levi phrases, so all this time I've been fighting people, that's just horrible. I mean, you would think that Titans are like monsters, but to think that they're actually people, literally people that you killed. Oh, God. I mean, they said, Han just said, we still have no proof, but... But who turned them into titans? That's still raising questions like, who turned them into titans? And I feel so bad for Connie because... <sighs> this episode was just so filled with em emotions. On Man, I can't believe I lost it. <sighs> Honestly, I can't wait to see the third season as soon as possible because, goodness, things, they are getting answers, but it's also getting, it's, it's giving me more and more questions. I mean, despite that Rainer and Belto betrayed everyone, I, I do, I, I don't know how to feel about them. I really want to know more of the reasons behind why they wanted to take Aaron. Is it because his ability to literally control the Titans? And Ymir... I mean, she's finally being honest to herself, but I knew that the decision she was going to take, um, it was, was going to end up hurting uh, Historia. And I wonder how all these events are going to affect everyone. And then seeing that all, all the people from uh, Waller, I think Waller Rose, right? Uh, they got evacuated to Cena and then the emergency rations, they're like, yeah, we're going to run out within a week. And yeah, people are, we're going to resort to stealing and very likely killing. So then they decided, you know what, let's make it safe and bring the people back. Man, the soundtrack for the episode was just amazing. And that conversation with Mikasa and Aaron, wow, I, I still can't forget it. I actually want to rewatch that scene. But oh God, it's going to make me want to cry again. Man, this episode was so roller coaster of emotions. I still want to know who coordinate is, who or what coordinate is, and the fact that the, there's a person on top of the beast titan and saying, no, it's still not time yet. Like, what do they mean by that? And the fact that Erwin was smiling, it's kind of sickening, but at the same time, it's one more step to finding out the whole truth. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> it, I feel so angry. I feel so sad right now. God, this episode was just... <sighs> I can see why. <sighs> the hype for Attack of Titan is like huge. I'm sorry if I can't really say what I really want to say, but I'm still God, dealing with Haynes' death by the damn same Titan that killed her mother. But I love the fact that that Titan got killed. I I'm very glad about that. 
but I, but that shocking revelation that the Titans, it's a very likely possibility that they're actually people. I mean, the Titans within the walls were actually the people inside Connie's hometown. I've been said before, like, what if there's a possibility that all the people inside that town were transformed into Titans, but how, who did it or how did it happen? I still have many questions and we're learning more about Aaron's powers. I mean, his ability literally not to transform, he didn't transform, but he controlled the Titans. That's impressive. Man, I I got to watch the third season, but that's probably going to be till next week. <laughs> I got to take a break from Attack of Titan because, goodness, I'm still uh, filled with so much rage at what happened, man. I think the consequences of what happened in this last episode are going to be very, very big on the scouts. Yeah, very, very big on the scouts, honestly. I think things are going to get, are going to get bad from worse, honestly. But anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next video. Bye.